Howdy. Last night, I saw The Secret of Kells. And I thought it was good. Um, I'm giving it a 7. It was gorgeous. I mean gorgeous. Uh, visually eye-popping. Eye-popping. Beautiful. Um, it was nominated for Best Animated Feature last year at the Oscars. Uh, I suppose it deserved that. It was gorgeous. It did have a lot of heart. Um, and it was very small. I mean, it was <laughs> practically a global effort. Uh, watching the credits, so many countries were listed. I mean, it's common to list a lot of countries, but I mean, Brazil, uh, Japan, Ireland, of course, uh, England. I, I just kept on seeing all these countries, uh, you know, put their stamp on it. And I'm like, that impressed me. So, should have got nominated for Best Picture? Sure. Why not? Uh, it's... I really wish I hadn't read a review of it because a line stuck in my head. Um, they called it moving uh, wallpaper. And it was flat. You know, there's... There didn't seem to be too much character uh, going on. I thought there were a lot of caricatures. It was high on caricature and low on character. Um, sometimes things were happening and I wasn't sure uh, what was going on. Uh, but the entire time, I mean, really, you're just kind of sitting there like... Because it's, you know, corner to corner, visual, I mean, something's going on. There's something to look at. Uh, it's like, wow. Uh, in terms of the animation, the entire time... I was reminded uh, of Samurai Jack, or basically the works of Gennady Tartakovsky. Um, he did uh, Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, uh, and most importantly, Samurai Jack and the Clone Wars, the first Clone Wars, the, the really good ones. And the entire time I was like, this, there wouldn't be this movie without Samurai Jack or Gennady, you know, Gennady Tartakovsky. The backgrounds looked straight out of Samurai Jack. Um, it, uh, it was gorgeous and I, I can remember laughing some. It had some, it had a very cute sense of humor. Uh, but I, I was confused at some points um, and wasn't entirely sure what was going on and a lot of things I, there was just like this bare minimum of motivation just bare minimum uh, again someone points out it's a kids movie well, I don't know a kids not gonna know what is going on in this movie uh, Seriously, they are going to be. There was no kids in this movie, um, in the th in the audience. People did walk out. Uh, we had we had people walk out, uh, and we had people clap at the end. So there you go. Your two polars. Um, I give it a seven again because it was gorgeous, but very thin on story. Uh, but, you know, and that story's what's important. But again, it did look gorgeous. There's some great voice acting. Brendan Gleeson was in it. Uh, oh, I just blanked on his name. He's from Moulin Rouge. Jim Broadbent. Jim Broadbent's in it. Great stuff. Uh, they should have had more to chew on. But 
It's a feast for the eyes. It's a feast for the eyes. Somewhat the heart. And I really can't say the mind at all. Uh, so that's the secret of Kells. I give it a 7. Um, it defines a limited release. So I doubt you'll be able to catch it on the big screen. But definitely rent it. And put it on the biggest screen you got. And you know you know, trip out to it at, at the least because it, there is some crazy animation going on and it definitely needs to be recognized for that and uh, that's the secret of Kells. I give it a 7. Check it out.